Next up I will update Vrybash. So from the Tuco guide I open the Vrybash link. It points to the Nexus page of Vrybash. Go to files. I can see there is a file from the 4th of July. We have a standalone executable. We have the installer. Let's take the standalone executable, manual download, beta free, standalone executable. And I'll download it to my SSE tools, open the directory, open the zip, and I have the moppy folder here. This is inside the zip archive. I will open my main game directory where I have Rybush installed, Skyrim Special Edition moppy. That's the place. I will delete or rename the previous one. I can call it previous and it will not be recognized by the game anymore. As you can see I've tested many many versions here. I could delete all those folders. Now I can uh, drag Moppy into the directory. Here it is. Now this one will be active as it has the correct name. When I go to my mod organizer I run Vrybash, let's test if it runs. A different version of Vrybash was previously installed. Previous version from December last year and current version. Do you want to create a backup of your bash settings before they are overwritten? I always choose no, I never had any problems. That might depend on the depth and the way you are actually using the program. It complains about Dual Sheet Redux ESP. That is an older plugin record version. That's perfectly fine. And also, it's situated after the bashed patch, so it doesn't interfere with that. It works fine. Well, basically, it starts and it looks fine. So, I will assume for now that it works correctly with this present version. <laughs> 